At least three people are dead, and three others remain missing as search and recovery crews continue to scour through debris from a landslide that buried homes and a highway outside of Wrangell, Alaska, on Monday. A woman was rescued from an upper floor of a home that was struck. She is in good condition and receiving medical care. The deadly landslide occurred along the Zimovia Highway, about 11 miles south of Wrangell in southeastern Alaska. The slide is estimated to be 450 feet wide where it crossed the highway. The landslide occurred without warning, and first responders said the ground remains unstable, which could result in additional movement. Heavy precipitation from an atmospheric river was reported over southeastern Alaska in the days before the landslide in Wrangell, which was likely responsible for triggering additional events in Heidelberg, Ketchikan, and Claywatt. In addition to the heavy rain and snow, winds gusted to over 100 miles per hour, leading to blizzard conditions and power outages on the southeastern coast. Landslides are considered common in southeastern Alaska and the U.S. Forest Service has documented thousands of occurrences. Long-term forecasts show continued storminess for the Gulf of Alaska, with heavy bouts of precipitation, which will likely keep the threat of mudslides and landslides high. A large-scale search and rescue mission wasn't initially possible because the site was unstable and hazardous. The search for the missing people who may be buried in the slide area moved from an active search to a reactive search on Thursday. Authorities on Friday said they were working to clear the road of debris and have a scent detection K-9 team on standby to resume searching if new information or evidence is found. Officials conducted three search efforts in the area, where they used drones, helicopters, and planes, ground teams with K-9 scent detection dogs and trained professionals, and water-based searching with K-9 teams and sonar. T. Such landslides are known as debris flows and pose a threat due to the steep slopes in southeastern Alaska. The State Transportation Department said that a drone expert and heavy equipment operator were also dispatched to Wrangell. The state's emergency management division also planned to send someone to Wrangell to determine what the community's needs are. Wrangell is one of the oldest non-Alaskan native settlements in the state, founded in 1811 when Russians began trading with Klingits. Klingits, Russians, the British, and Americans all accounted for historical influences on Wrangell. Timber once was a major economic driver, but that has shifted to commercial fishing. In December 2020, torrential rains prompted a landslide in another southeast Alaska city, claiming two lives. The 200-yard wide slide slammed into a neighborhood in the community of Haines, leaving about nine feet of mud and trees covering city streets. You have been watching Disaster Relay. Like and subscribe for more content.